Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report, man. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Um, you know, I'm, I'm running around like a wild man, um, headed down to, to the dump. That's right, maybe I need to do a dump report. Uh, we've talked about the Washington Redskins and New York Giants. But, having good news, on our Cowboys is something I like to bring. So, we know we've had some guys that have been injured who ended up having surgery and things, you know, during the off season. We know Marcus Lawrence is one of them. We know that uh, Tyron Crawford, of course. And then there was Byron Jones. Byron Jones, who, going into last year, some people had the B word, possibly, on him. You know, the Dallas Cowboys, they, they like to play the mad scientist and things. And, you know, instead of taking a player, what he does good, sometimes they like to try and move him around and try and put him in different places. And that's kind of what happened with Byron Jones. Byron Jones went from cornerback to safety and cornerback and everything else. And he never quite got it in. But to me, he never seemed to have that mentality of being a safety. To me, he was always a cornerback. You know, the guy could jump like crazy. The standing broad jump, I still think, is the NFL's record. You know, we saw him literally have his knee pop out, and he popped it back in, and boom, he's going through there. But under Chris Richard, where they said, you're a cornerback. You're not a safety. You're a cornerback. He was one of the top-rated cornerbacks last year until he started having problems with the hip. He got the hip worked on, and he's been on the pup list, you know, the physically unable to perform list. Well, the good news is, is his hip and everything has been responding that he may be coming off the pup list today. Today, friends, he may be coming off of that. And that's great because, you know, we've had these young guys that have been out there because we've seen Anthony Brown, you know, playing really well. We've seen uh, Jordan Lewis playing really well. And we've seen a woozy, ooh, a woozy playing really well. It's given these guys time on the field. And now you got your stud back. And man, right now, it's all beginning to come together, it seems. I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to get too optimistic and stuff, but we're getting guys back. We know Demarcus Lawrence, you know, he's back. He's back. Tyrone Crawford, he's back. And now Byron Jones. So you look at all of these young guys that we have, and now we're getting the studs back. Oh, man, I, I'm just happy as can be. I, I'm just excited about this season that uh, I want to cry. We have been waiting on having a defense of old, you know, a, a, a doomsday defense, a, a second coming like we had in the 90s with the Leon Lett, the Big Cat, the Charles Haley's, you know, the Woodsons. So happy. I know it's only been preseason. That defense has only given up one TD. And that was because of a short field on a muff, muff punt. You know, pass rush, that defensive line is key for every single level. I have always been on the bandwagon about that one technique guy. And right now, I feel like we got a war daddy in the middle and Antoine Woods, as well as Malik Collins. Because Malik Collins, I don't know that anybody's been able to block that guy yet. And here's the thing. Between Demarcus Lawrence, Antoine Woods, Malik Collins, and Robert Quinn or Tyrone Crawford, it's four men. If you can get pressure with those four men, if those guys can play like I think they can, you got five offense linemen. Teams are going to be forced to keep that running back in there because, you know, somebody's going to need to get double teamed. You know, Demarcus Lawrence, if he's back to that level he's been the last two years, ooh-wee, you know, you're going to have a double team on him. So that means you got three guys for those other three guys. And I can guarantee you, 
that one of those guys, every time is going to be double teamed. And just imagine if you are that quarterback and you're up at that line of scrimmage and you're seeing D-Law, Antoine Woods, Malik Collins, Robert Quinn. Oh, but wait, there's more. Now you got the Predator, Jalen Smith, and the Wolf Hunter. Woo! Right there. And they're showing blitz. What you gonna do, brother? What you gonna do? When that Dallas defense comes for you, brother. I'm talking that Dallas defense. The Predator. The Wolf Hunter. The Law. All coming after your ass. What are you going to do, brother? What are you going to do? I tell you what you're going to do if you're a quarterback. You're going to crap your pants. You're going to pee down your leg. You're going to get scared and you're going to turn that ball over. And now... We got a secondary? Ooh, we, we got Byron Jones we can put out there on an island. Oh. We got Xavier laying, laying the wood over there. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then you got an Awuzi. Or you got a Thomas or Sean Lee and linebacker in, for, in that defense. We got an Anthony Brown if we need to have an extra D back. We got Jeff, all I do is get some interceptions. He, yeah, that defense is coming together, guys. It's coming together. If you ain't excited about this Dallas Cowboy team, I don't know what to tell you. I just don't know what to tell you. If we can just get Zeke Elliott in the fold. Ooh. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'm going to keep on keeping on.